Stop using Google Analytics. F hey Funnel Builders, Mike here from Sell Your Service and I want to talk about why Funnel Builders shouldn't use Google Analytics, which I'm now going to call GA because saying Google Analytics makes me do a weird thing with my neck. And I'm going to show you the analytics package that you should be using instead, particularly on your customer websites. I want to show you how we can start getting insight on your analytics, not just having a random number of uh, statistics and data and stuff just kind of flooding your screen and you're like, I, I don't know what I can do about this. I'm also going to show you how a way to not just measure stuff, but actually do something about it on your website and on your customers' websites. Also, how to build and export great looking and useful reports. I cannot count the amount of times that I've had a report come to me for my analytics for my channel or for my social media or for my website and I'm like, I don't know what to do with any of this data. The problem is Google Analytics is free, right? And free is worth every single penny. To an extent, GA is fine and there's a lot of people who can do some very, very clever things with Google Analytics. However, GA is for analysts. It is an analytics package and program and has been built for analysts and data junkies. I'm not a data junkie. I just like to write content, convert people into subscribers, and then convert subscribers into sales. Just because you have GA installed on your website doesn't mean that you're going to use it. I think there's a massive misconception that we think just because I can install this and it's free, then I'll be in there every day and I'll get to find out all these amazing little conversion hacks and make all these little tweaks. And we don't do it. The reality is we absolutely do not do that. My old IT teacher when I was a kid, when he wasn't being a sadist, he used to say something very interesting. Analytics is just data, it's just random kind of numbers, right? Information is content, it's data with context, okay? Insight is what we need. Even back then, this is in the 90s, he said that we don't live in the information age, we live in the insight age. Information is one thing to have hundreds of thousands of things told to you, but doing something about it and knowing which one is important, that's the age that we live in now and the age we should be living in. The problem is that with GA, we're given a lot of data, we're even given a lot of information, but we don't do anything with it. And I want to show you the package that I use called Oraby, which will completely flip that, where I'm in there almost every day looking at our analytics and measuring two or three key conversions. I also personally don't feel that GA is particularly intuitive to set up. I know it's just a tag and a code and you better get a plugin and all this kind of stuff. And some people, like I said, can do some amazing things with GA. But I have found that as I am not an analyst, I really struggle to understand and utilize the power of Google Analytics when I would rather use something like Oraby get insight, get reports, and understand what is happening with my funnels. Also, the reports from GA don't look great. In fact, most people use dashboards like Scyph or Google Docs to be able to pull in all that data to make it look better because it's not particularly intuitive. I think there is a huge misconception that analytics are important, and they're not. The reality is analytics will be useful and serve you up to a point. If you're doing regular reports, and you're doing very, very granular, in-depth reporting on multiple channels, multiple sites, multiple audiences, then yeah, GA is going to be a great option for you. But I'm not an analyst. And as funnel builders, we shouldn't be digging around in the data and the minutia and the granular data kind of sifting through it. What we want is insight. And that's the important piece there. Interestingly, GA has now added a few of what they call their intelligence features into GA and the dashboard to be able to say, hey, you had a traffic spike here, or you've had more content on this particular page or more visitors from this particular source. But what I want is insight. I want insight on my funnels and my pages. I also don't particularly feel that the system to set up goals and conversions is brilliantly intuitive on Google Analytics. It might have got better, but frankly, Oraby does everything I needed to do and more and is so easy to use. In fact, I can even show you, you know, how to set up a channel or how to start uh, measuring funnel conversions and for the whole funnel, not just 
setting up an individual goal from a conversion to a page to a page, actually measuring the conversion across the whole funnel. So we look at all of our blog content and then we say, okay, well they opt into these particular forms and then they convert through a sale at this particular way. So there's a lot of stuff that we can look at there. Fewer and fewer customers are gonna start wanting analytics reports. I remember one of our customers, we would give them a lot of content, a lot of reports over and over and over. After about six months, I kind of asked them, look, why do you guys use them? And they were like, we didn't even realize you were sending these. We never look at them. Customers don't want analytic reports. What again they want is insight. They want you to send something to them that says, did you know that someone is less likely to opt in in 2008 on this particular opt-in form? We should do something about that. Or did you know that someone is more likely to buy if they visit from Google? We want to know that. I want insight to kind of top it all off. GA, in my opinion, like I've mentioned, is a bit of a ball ache to set up. I think it's unintuitive. I think the tag manager, while very powerful, is complicated and, and overly complex to set up. I also find that the GA doesn't have a brilliant um, measure on one page to another page. I've noticed a few things have kind of gone a bit ski with there. The solution is Oraby. So Oraby.io. Oraby is an analytics platform. First of all, it's free to try it for 14 days. If you use the link below, I guarantee you that you will sign up and you'll be like, why isn't everyone using this? It's so, so, so easy, so intuitive. I've done another video on before. They've revamped the dashboard. They've made it a lot easier. Oraby recommends only measuring two or three key conversions, which is what we do. We have two or three key opt-in forms that we want to measure and then measuring people through to a sale. What's interesting is that I can mix and match different events, they call them events on the site, and say, okay, if someone visits a blog post with the word sales in it, how likely are they to opt into our sales-based opt-in form? And it turns out on that particular one, it's about 5% across the board. And yet there are some blog posts, and again, I can see this and I'll say, well, what about this blog post compared to this blog post? And some of them will have an 18 or 20% conversion and some of them will have less. I can then say, well, how about the conversion rate of people who opt into a sales opt-in form or buys our $19 email series? And again, I now happen to know that that's about 6%, which I'm pretty happy with, frankly. The difference between getting quick insight and the difference between just being presented with data and information has been immeasurable in our business. First of all, I'm able to measure entire funnel conversions, entire funnels, not just in one page. I can literally say, start measuring all blog posts that contain the word sales, or I can manually select them. Let's say I've got a, a, different, kind of con a different kind of content silo set up, where I can say, well, I wanna have this blog post and this one and this one and this one. I choose five or 10 or 100 blog posts. I say, if they land on this page or if they click on this button, then measure that as a conversion. I also love that this works beautifully with Optin Monster. And even though Optin Monster is pulling in data from it elsewhere via the API, Oraby will still know what those individual buttons are. So if I build it in Optin Monster, Optin Monster has analytics, but it'll only show me that particular Optin. Whereas I can say to Oraby, measure the clicks on this particular button, I know it's opt-in monster, but measure the clicks on this particular button, and it says, yeah, absolutely fine, and it goes and searches for all those clicks, it goes and searches for all those events, and it's constantly adding events automatically as your users use the website. So you don't need to select what you want it to measure, it goes out there and finds all these different events for you to measure. It's super easy to set up. It's basically a, a tiny bit of code that you drop in. And then I think 24 hours later, it's mapped your entire site. It's got all of your pages, got all of your events, all of your clicks, all of your buttons, all of your links. And it'll show you where people are coming from. It'll show you where they're going. It'll show you their user journeys. Their user journeys are crazy in depth. So I can select one person and I can see exactly where it is they're going, where they joined, how often they visit, all the pages they go to. You can also, and this is the most important part in my opinion, have multiple domains. So if you're gonna be running this for a customer, if you're on the $79 a month license, for example, and you charge your customers $20 a month, by having five of them, you're making $20 a month profit, plus you get to keep your own one. It also has multiple users, 
So I think on the mid-level tier, you can have five users. Now, they have released uh, a one user and a one domain tier, which I think is really, really good for the sake of 30 bucks a month to get these kind of insight and these kind of analytics and reporting on a website without having to have any kind of analytics installation. It's so, so, so simple to set up. Their support team is also outstanding. I'm constantly having conversations with them saying, what do you think I should start measuring? Is there a way just to kind of measure this with the funnel? The important part is that you're getting deeper insight and information on your website and your customer site. You're getting better quality information by splitting out 90% of the white noise and the fluff and by focusing on the two or three conversions that really matter. With this, we've seen increased conversions on multiple pages and posts because there's a, a clear um, correlation, for example, between someone being on a post that's to do with sales and not surprisingly, someone being offered a sales-based opt-in letter. We've been able to kind of solidify our marketing strategy by bringing some of those things together and tightening up our content strategy. It's also allowed us to focus our efforts on the right conversions. There's a few opt-ins that for whatever reason people do not opt into, they just don't care. And that's fine now because I've got the data to show, well actually, if we were to just increase traffic in this area, we'd actually get the same level of conversions as if we were to focus all our efforts on these opt-ins that just don't work. Most importantly is the speed of the reports. The reporting dashboard is set up, it's the first thing you see when you log in and boom, there you go, that's all your information. For example, I really like seeing that in 2018, people are more likely to opt in on my particular report. So my conversion rate has just gone up from last year. I love seeing that. I also like seeing that I am five times more likely to sell on a thank you page than I am on a sales page, which is amazing to me. The conversion rate is roughly the same, but more people visit the page. So I happen to know that more people are likely to buy in, even though the conversion rate is roughly the same. I like knowing that my sales page for one particular product converts at 4.6%. It just it just says that. It, I just say, measure this. Tell me what the conversions are for this. Thanks very much for watching, guys. There is a link below. Now, full disclosure, it is an affiliate link. Um, it's actually just a campaign measurement. This is entirely set up. They don't have an affiliate program. I've just said to them, hey, I'm going to be doing a few videos in Oribe. I'd love to know what kind of traffic I can send to you guys. So give it a click. Sign up. It's a completely free, credit card free sign up method. You can try it free for 14 days. Grab the code, install it on your site, start measuring the conversions that matter and just start seeing some of those user journeys as well, which is really important to me. Pick one funnel, one conversion, maybe coming through to your contact page or if you've got it on a customer site and they've got a lot of blog content, install it on theirs and see where people are going from those blog posts, where they're opting in, measure some of those events, use their support channel as well because they love to take you through that kind of stuff. They're very, very helpful. Gnome, for example, and Assy, uh, those are the two of the guys who I work with quite closely at Oribe. I'm a big fan of those guys. As well as Maya. Maya is also very, very lovely. She's she's helped me out a lot. So yeah, go ahead and click on the below and that's just going to tell them that, yeah, this particular video sent them some, some traffic and they'll appreciate that. In the meantime, let me know in the comments below if there is an analytics package that you love using or if you use Oribe, let me know in the comments. What's your biggest gripe with GA and what is it that you wish you could change? Because for me, Oribe is absolutely where I want to go. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I love using it every single day. And uh, yeah, I think this is the, the analytics package that funnel builders should, should be using, frankly. I don't think if you're an analyst, you'll want to stick with Google Analytics either because from an analyst's perspective, the way that I'm able to manipulate data within Oribe has completely changed my perception on what I think I want from my report. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Keep building those funnels.